was that? Oh, that? Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, and you have Ali Ali Hondro, and we have a beer here from the Charlevoix Brew, well, Brassier Charlevoix. This is La Vache Foal, or the Mad Cow, double IPA. It's 8% alcohol. Um, yeah. Is it going to be good still? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bottled February 11th, 2011. Keep that out. <laughs> Either, we might need that again. Either just after the first sip. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> That made me think Kevin was in the basement for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Oh. No, way to pour. Well, I'm trying. I was tr hoping that it wouldn't do what the, uh... It did it. It's going to. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Not, not, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Alrighty, so unfiltered. Clearly. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> well, not clearly. Um, yeah, a nice brassy color. Nice head, a little off white. Um, yeah. Now, you gotta remember the only thing going good for us on this is, is IPAs were meant to last. Okay. And hops are a natural preservative. So a double IPA would have more hops, <laughs> so it should last. Now the hop flavor shouldn't, because hops do fade off, yeah. but it it should still taste okay. I mean, you're just smelling, you're smelling like a caramel malt. Yeah. Um, really no hops at all are coming off Which of it, is, but again, it's over It smells a like the, 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 the other one we had from this, from these guys. Yeah, the ESB? Yeah. It smells a lot like the ESB. And the ESB probably was this base, just less hops. Anyway. Oh, I do like it. You know what? There's so much hop bitterness on this that I'm glad it's over a year old. <laughs> because oh, if this wow. was fresh, it would probably fuck our faces off. <laughs> I do like this. Yeah, if if um if this was fresh it would be a Tuesday with the Reverend. <laughs> I heard ya. <laughs> Very nice caramel taste. Very wow. nice bitterness on the background. You can't really differentiate what type of hop it is anymore. The hop flavor no, no, is no, gone, it's, it's just but the hop bitter. bitterness is still there. Right, the like resin it. is there. It is an oily, resiny, thick feeling in your throat. I like it. Yeah, I, I actually feel, like it too. You feel the burn, but it's not terrible. Here, Rev. What's the uh, what's the alcohol percentage eight. in this? Wow. And you can't tell it's eight either. No. Double IPA, an imperial, if you will. Uh, According to who? Blind According to them. Are you sure? Because that's actually one that I like. Yeah. I think. But again, remember, awesome. it is a year and a half old, so the hop right. flavor would have worn off. Yeah, because now with a lot, like there's very little hop really going on. Like you taste it. Well, the yeah, there's the bitterness there. is there, and the bitterness is actually refreshing. Um, yeah. Whatever hops they use to flavor it aren't oh, there anymore. Nice. So if you bought it tonight. Maybe yeah. wait for two years? <laughs> yeah, if you have to give it a year and a half wait, you're good. <laughs> so out of ten. Uh, this is a seven for me. I would actually I would actually buy it if I saw it. I'll give it a seven two five. I actually like this. Quite a bit. Even a year and a half later. Yeah. I think it's more so you should be aged a year. I know, we were not aging it on purpose, that's just what was in the box that we bought. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>